Welcome to our second example of abstract reasoning. And as before, two or more rules will be applied. So think about the rules as soon as you look at the example. And we'll move on to that next slide now. Okay, so here we are. If you want to work through this yourself, you may want to pause the video now, time yourself and work at your own pace, and then listen to the explanation. In this example, at first glance, you might think it looks random, but there is a strategy here. All the squares are black and white and are consistent in size, but the black squares, which I'll refer to as dots, can be seen to have five throughout, so there is no addition or subtraction. So we have colour and position. Each black dot moves up or down its column at a number of squares at a time in each frame. So firstly, on the far left, you have the black dot that moves at three squares per frame. The second black dot moves at four squares per frame. The third moves at five squares per frame. The fourth moves at two squares per frame. And the fifth moves at one square per frame. When any of the black dots reaches the edge of the grid, they continue their way in the opposite direction. So we also have reverse movement. And that's another rule. So the correct answer is A, as it follows a sequence of moving up and down the columns in that particular frame according to the number of moves the dots make.